not very good at all. Um, hi, we're back. I apparently mixed a terrible drink. Uh, we're children driving robots, dick punchers. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> we're still playing some of... Oh, that was... What the hell did I put in that? Penis juice. Actually, what, I think what I was masturbating into a job. Up. Oh, am I out? I'm out. Shut up and do your job. Doug's drunk is no longer on player one. Shoot him in the eye. I'm good at that. Oh, seriously. Yeah, take it's that. Terrible. You guys yeah. Why am I this fucking thing? I hate you this thing. jump and shoot him in the eye. That's the only weak part. I can't shoot him. It's my fist. Come on, just... Fist him in the eye. <laughs> am I the only one that's We ever... just found the title for this video. <laughs> fist him in the eye? Fist him in the eye. I don't Sits think... Hurry up. I don't think you can fist somebody in the eye. Challenge uh, accepted. You're just not trying uh, hard. I'm, I'm dead. Uh, Miller out. Uh, Miller's out. Uh, I'm pushing him out too. Ah. Uh, fuck you, Cyclops Ivan Ooze motherfucker. What does this look like? I've seen something like this before. He's like a cuter clay face. Yeah. Ow. Oh, we almost got him. We're almost out of time too, 15, so we gotta hurry up. 14. 13, Wouldn't Clayface make a 12, good Batman villain 11, to see in a movie? 10, Come on, yeah, we're almost got him. Awesome. I'm trying! Yeah, oh, we got him! Yeah. I'm punching as fast as I can. Peer pressure. I'm fisting as hard as I can! Oh, okay, you, know, you yeah. died. Oh, too. and I died. Cool, I'm out. <laughs> I'm surprised they never tried making a Mega Man live action movie. Everything else is. Bob's has in a on lot, one. Alright, so live since we movie. never introduced ourselves. I'm Willard. Hi, I'm Pliskin. I'm McDan. Bob in on one. I don't like this drink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're fighting Wiley. Okay. Oh, he's straight up from seven. Gotta run, gotta run now. Gotta run, gotta run now. And Spryly, gotta run, gotta climb now. Way up highly. Gonna get, gonna get you, Dr. Wiley. I am Mega Man. Here's my mega plan. I will fucking kill you. We have to kill him from his eyeball sack. Someone's greasy meat is all over the controls. <laughs> That would be my potato the, chip grease. I just realized something. Those aren't the controls. You have to... Your hands are in my pants. <laughs> hi -yo. You have to skull fuck Dr. Wily. You do. Oh, yeah. You have to shoot him right in his eye socket. Right in his stupid eyeball. You just have to... Let, you just have to... You just your, have to. You have to. Yeah, you have to. You have to get your lasers in his eye. Except when he drops okay, it down. Okay, Bob's dead on one. Out. Oh, drunk okay. in on just, one. Just drunk in on one. We're bad at this game. Oh, I just died. We're so good at I, this, though. Uh, Willard I'm, 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 I'm Willard in on two. a fist. We are really bad at this. <laughs> are we really good at regular Mega Man? Oh, Is my God. I am. Speak for yourself. <laughs> oh, there we go. There's how you do it. He's got a charge attack. He do. And it's a projectile. Is he throwing slices of cheese at you? Yes. That's what it looks like. I just shot him at. I just shot slices him. of yellow American. Like or you, how is that harmful? That looks you'll delicious. The world map is pink and green. Ah, uh, well that was stage one. Ooh, shablam. So what's stage two of the Doctor Wily fight? Cause there. Bro, this isn't even my oh, final this form. Is straight from seven. <laughs> isn't that his final form? Or is it? Where do I feel like where, I'm where playing go? Sonic? Oh, damn it. Well, we're just shooting. You gotta aim high, buddy. I'm oh, trying. No. I'm really bad at aiming yeah, high. Yeah, hit him. Yeah. Doing it. There's a countdown, by the Doing way. Doing it. Two. Oh. Fist you so hard. Oh, no. Too low. What, what's Where is he? Oh, yeah! We did it. Oh, shit. Now I'm fucked. We beat the Wily. Yeah. Oh. That was easy. Here. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, nothing to die. Oh. oh. That's okay. There's absolutely no way he'll be back in the sequel. Oh, no. No. So it's like Blofeld. Oh, Face was the enemy all along. Thank you, do all your thing. You saved us! His name is Duo? I was once saved by you and Mega Man. He found the power of Jesus. I've always wanted to thank you for that. Now my debt to you is paid. I love Jesus. Wee. Dr. Light, have you noticed that this energy is a lot like mine? I don't know what's happening. <laughs> You're right. 
Of course he is. I found that alien energy on Earth. What alien energy? The shit in my hand, motherfucker. Now I understand where this energy... What energy? Where did it... What? It's in my hand, you fuck. Do well, you not see it? Too dangerous to remain on Earth, so I'm gonna fucking keep it. <laughs> see you, base. Don't talk. Just <laughs> leave. <laughs> fucker. You're ruining it with all your conversation. I can feel your justice, justice energy. energy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I care about justice or peace. All I care about is getting my justice energy on. Oh. Who's the strongest? Who's the strongest? No, he's Vegeta. Who's the strongest? He's Vegeta. You're so strange, base. But that's okay. I still like you. Oh. Uh. Uh. <laughs> hey, I accept your challenge. Why is the P and the T Earth? capitalized and nothing else is? <laughs> yeah, they've got some font issues here. I understand. See you, base. Apparently, whoever translated this has never heard of a comma. It's the mysterious new character duo. He does not seem to be an enemy, but who is he? He's the mysterious new character duo. <laughs> what happened between him and Mega Man in the past? PM, the P's are capitalized. What did Dr. Light mean by alien energy? The shit that was in his hand. I kind of wish we knew. Play Mega Man 8 to find oh. out. <laughs> <laughs> really? The fucking Mega Man 8? <laughs> <laughs> The yeah. whole game was a trailer for Mega Man 8. Oh my god, no, no, I've solved the mystery. Why the P and the T were capitalized? Because this is PT. This is the playable teaser for Mega oh. Man 8. Oh! 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 Kojima, you sly son of a bitch. It, it is Konami. <laughs> Kojima probably had, like... No, this is Capcom. What the hell? No, did, oh, that's right. Konami, no, was, fucking... uh, do, do, do. Konami was Mumesa. Never mind. I'm getting my games mixed up. And Capcom all staff. Wow, yeah. so this is actually a this is a playable <laughs> trip. <laughs> it's the playable teaser. You hooked us up with a trailer <laughs> to play for Quartermasters. Yep. That's brilliant. There's ten minutes left in this episode. <laughs> well, we can break this down. <laughs> okay, so... Wow! Uh, Who has some ratings? This was ten out of two. <laughs> Until I found out it was a trailer. <laughs> At which point, fuck this shit. I give it a fuck out of this shit. Uh, Willard? It was going so strong, This too. is an ingenious marketing strategy. We're gonna promote a game. How do we promote it? With we another game, Gameception. Yes! <laughs> but at the same time, they're making money off this game, which probably developed at the exact same time that Mega Man 8 was. Built, took a bunch of cabinets they've already had, installed it on this, and gave it to a people that wanted to play me more Mega Man. You know what? It makes sense why a lot of uh, Mega Man 7 villains were on here, because it was yeah. trying to hype them up for Mega Man 8 then. Yep, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so this yeah. is actually Mega Man 7.5. Yes. Yeah, pretty much. So, this is a brilliant way to get people interested in Mega Man 8 and to set it up. I mean, no, you see, if they were really smart, what they would have done is only paid for advertising on the first Mega Man game. And then use the end of the first Mega Man game to advertise its sequel in this manner. <laughs> and then just keep Do you really going. think What's-His-Name really had a bunch of forethought? I mean, he left after the fourth game, right? I can't remember the guy's name. The guy that did uh, Blue Number Nine. Everything? Yeah. The yeah. guy that did Blue Number, Blue Number Nine. Kenji is so funny. So I give this game, since it's actually a teaser, I'll give it a 5 out of 5. So here's a question. With this being a teaser, did they give everyone a free console to take home with them to play on that? Uh, no, you had to go to an arcade and put quarters in and pay to watch the trailer. Oh. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> that sucks. But still, I'll that's a this. brilliant way to make money. I'll give imagine, them. imagine it's like you go to see a movie, and there's a bunch of trailers before the movies, but to get through every trailer, you have to put a quarter in. Well, that's not We're getting like close to that actual model. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, you mean any trilogy yeah. ever? Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm going to give this a 6.5 power-ups out of 10 power-ups. It was a little lacking in some areas, but it was kind of fun. I, even, this is, even though this is Mega Man, that's such a lame unit of measurement. <laughs> you know what this game is? This is Transformers Age of Extinction. They've finished their big storyline. They're getting set to do another storyline. Here's an entire thing that does nothing but set up their next story. It's Star Trek The Motion Picture. <laughs> no. 
And then it just, all that did was just be like, hey, we could do this. Nope. All right, I guess we're going with the whole Wrath of Khan, Spock dies and bring him back thing. <laughs> but no, think about it. What did, what did Age of Extinction do? It established that there's a bigger universe with more robots out there beyond Transformers and Cybertron. And then it sent Optimus Prime out to find them. And it did this using, like, three and a half hours of explosions. Who knew that we, as a nation, needed Optimus Prime riding a Tyrannosaurus into battle? I did. Yeah, My no, life is complete. That's, that's pretty feeling. common knowledge. So, uh, what, what I didn't know I needed was any of the rest of the bullshit in that stupid movie. It's so the you, first one that I didn't like. So you literally wanted just, like, a... 17 second sequence of Optimus Prime riding a T-Rex and that would have been the movie I would you. have paid my 8 bucks and been happy with 2 minutes of Optimus Prime on a T-Rex instead they gave me 3 and a half hours of bullshit are, fa are fans like protesting that movie? no I feel like we've gotten off topic hold on wait, 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 hold on, wait. <laughs> what is your rating is this, this a transformer? <laughs> is this a pigeon? this <laughs> <laughs> what, what do I even give this game? I mean Okay, so PT has been getting pretty stellar reviews all around, and it's a trailer. Uh, I'm gonna give this uh, a big fat thumbs up. This gets a big thumb up. It's big fat ass. Because I know that's what it likes. Oh yeah, that's the only way it can get off. Mega Man likes butt stuff. Mega Man likes a little bit of butt play. Moving on. Does so, Mega Man have a butt? Moving I mean, on. He is a robot. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, it is a robot. <laughs> well, he's got exhaust ports. Yeah. All right. So, uh, you know what? This game, on so many levels, is Fails. awesome. And at the same time, it's a cheap cop out. One, it is awesome because it gets you hyped for Mega Man Eight after Mega Man Seven critically failed two it tried a new concept for mega man a fighter which Three, yes nothing wrong with me four nothing, nothing wrong, wrong with me. me which i mean yes there was mega man so one the battle scared. whatever <laughs> but this this one basically perfected the formula or it didn't because it another came out with mega man 3 but it failed because it was just a cheap cop out it was basically the wizard and fuck that noise. <laughs> <laughs> the Wizard was a movie that told you to play a video game. This is a video game that you get to play that but, makes you want to play another video game. Yes. This is, I would say this is better than The Wizard at least. I've never seen to The Wizard. To be fair, isn't any video game that you really like a video game that tries to get you to play other video games? Like, I've been waiting for eight years for a Clive Barker's Jericho sequel. It See, makes me so sad that that will probably never happen. <laughs> technically, if the game is doing its job, then it's a video game that makes you want to only play that game and never play any other video game. No, it, it makes me want more. Like World of Warcraft. If you start playing World of Warcraft, apparently you only want to play World of Warcraft and nothing else. Oh, wait, wait, oh you mean the game? Minecraft. Oh, you mean you the game that... You only want to play Minecraft. You mean really the game... anything with the oh, oh, wait, wait. You, mean, you mean the games that put out expansions? Yeah, it's, you're still playing the same game. They're so, just tacking uh, more onto Well, it. then why does Star well, Trek Online keep getting a new subtitle every time there's an expansion? It was Star Trek Online, then it was Star Trek Online Legacy of Romulus, now it's Star Trek Online Delta Rising. Why does uh, it about get... about World of Warcraft and the fucking Lich King from Adventure Wait, 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 wait I, World of Warcraft wait, and now there's fantasy. Hold on a second, hold on a second. Welcome to this episode of half of us playing a game and half of us basically having a fucking podcast. Because we're right <laughs> now, fucking time. Oh, oh, that's, hold on, hold on, hold on. everything hold we on. have ever done. Shh. Coming soon. The official Children Driving Robots podcast. Never. That's right. This is a video trying to get you to listen to a podcast. Or, it's a video trying to get you to watch another video. Buy our shit. A podcast that doesn't actually exist, or that will never exist. But admit it, but admit it, you kind of want to listen to it. Now, now, if you want us to have a podcast, spam our Facebook, spam our MySpace, spam our YouTube. Have. Yeah, don't do any of that. <laughs> and tell us to have a podcast. You can be as close to us as I am to Willard's butt. 
and to Judge Drunk and his alcoholist. He's alcoholism. he's literally inside Willard's butt, so that's pretty close. Uh, right. <laughs> you hey, know where, crying, <laughs> where any of us have time to do a fucking podcast. One man, one desire. Hold on, hold on. If we How did... many people here have a real job that they have to work 40 hours a week? Yup. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all of us do. Okay, so on that, this has been another episode of Quartermasters. <laughs> We've been children <laughs> driving robots. Oh, Please don't expect us to do a podcast. No. No. See you later, Dick Punchers. Dick Punchers. <laughs> <laughs>